Head Nation, it is your girl Princess Galaxy. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how I was able to get BTS floor seats and Blackpink VIP and see them like right here. Like this was Rose and this was me. Like it was insane. I'm gonna give you all the tea. I'm gonna give you all the secrets. I don't think you're ready, girl. Are you ready? Let's just get started because I want to help you guys get the best tickets possible because um K-pop is literally like destroying my wallet. <laughs> so let's get into it. So Let's prep. First tip that has helped me get amazing seats for every K-pop concert I've ever gone to is using more than two devices to buy your tickets. But guys, trust me, it is amazing. Back in, I believe February it was when I was trying to get tickets for Blackpink, I had the computer from the school and then I had my MacBook and then I used my iPad. I was able to get the VIP ticket from my iPad. So the probability of you getting a ticket is a lot higher than someone who's just using their phone because the Ticketmaster app on the phone is not that great. I'm just gonna let you guys know right now. You probably should not use that as a device, but I had three devices, I was able to obviously have a better chance, like I said. And here's the really important part. A lot of people know to use multiple devices, but they don't know how. So here's what you do. First, do not be signed into Ticketmaster on more than one device. If you are signed into more than one device, you can try two, I would not recommend it. But if you are signed in, say you have four devices, <coughs> Ticketmaster coming for me, that's why I almost choked. So if you're using all your devices and, you, and you're signed into your Ticketmaster account on all of them, Ticketmaster will assume that you are a bot, like a scalper, and they will remove you from the server. Yeah, Ticketmaster is not messing around, so you really wanna make sure that you're only signed into one account. When I was getting the Blackpink ticket, I was only signed into my one account on my iPad. Also, some people say, oh, just make different accounts. You don't have to make more than one account, okay? Just only sign into one and you'll be okay. There's this myth that people who make Ticketmaster accounts get tickets faster. That's not true. That has not been confirmed to be true. That is just a rumor. And all the times that I've tried to use multiple accounts with Ticketmaster, every single time I've gotten a ticket through Ticketmaster, it has always been through me, sign me not signing in or me being a guest. So I would really recommend only being signed into one device. Please keep it simple for yourself. No need to overcomplicate. Make four email accounts and make four separate accounts. And there's no, there's no need. You'll be wasting your time. So the next step for prepping for your amazing K-pop concert experience is to have your credit card on hand. Okay, guys, let me give you a quick story time. So when I was trying to buy a Super M ticket for Chicago, I got a VIP ticket right, I got in the queue. I was right there at 11.01 when the tickets came out and I remember, you know, actually having the ticket and I went through the checkout and I remember beforehand Ticketmaster was like, oh yeah, you can use PayPal. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, I can use PayPal. I go through, there's no option for PayPal and I did not have my card on me. So um, I was clowning. Um, here comes the circus, I'm the clown. But Ticketmaster did not support PayPal for my purchase. I was looking forward to it because in their FAQ, Ticketmaster said that they support PayPal. But when I tried it, maybe it's because it's the United Center, maybe it depends on the venue, but to me, money is money. And to huge corporations like Ticketmaster, money is money. So I'm not sure exactly why that happened, but if you are using a card, you need to have the card on hand. And it doesn't matter if you're signed in or not, just have the card because once you go to the checkout, you'll have, depend you'll have depending on the high volume of people that are trying to buy tickets, five to seven minutes to type in all your information and that will be enough time. So there's no need to worry about time limits. Make sure if you have money in PayPal that you're actually transferring it to a debit card because don't make my mistake, I literally had a VIP ticket for Super M on the floor, it was right next to the stage, and I had the money for it. Oh, I was so mad, but you know what? I think I had to go through that so I could teach you guys because this just happened like last week and um, still a little fresh in my heart, but you know what? I will make it. I will be able, I will get a VIP for somewhere, okay? Like, it will happen, so. We just, who gonna pray for me? Take my pain from me. So the next thing is make sure that you have good Wi-Fi. Maybe if you're still in high school, check to see if your internet is good at home. 
um, your college, wherever you go. I honestly recommend libraries because um, there's not a lot of people in libraries in 2019. So one important thing to determine how good a Wi-Fi is, which we probably all know um, because you're on the platform right now, which is YouTube, in case you didn't realize, yes, you're, you're logged into YouTube. Just give you that info, girl. Just just let you know you on YouTube. So the best way to check your Wi-Fi is definitely trying to load a YouTube video. If you can't load a YouTube video, don't buy tickets there. <laughs> go somewhere else, go to your friend's house. So you definitely wanna make sure you have good Wi-Fi. And this is probably the most important step. This is the last prepping step, is know how many tickets you want. Guys, you would be surprised how many people I know who are like, yeah, like I don't, like I wanna go to the concert in the day of, like the morning of, they're like, oh, how many tickets should I buy? I'm like, girl, like do you not know who you're going with? If you're younger, like if you're like under 18, your parents won't let you go by yourself, make sure that you find someone or like find a friend who you can go with or just see if you guys are planning on actually being in the same section or maybe she can just try to buy her own ticket and you can buy yours and then you can have a meetup spot after the concert also if you guys want to make want me to make a video on k-pop concert tips and like how to keep up with people i have great strategy for that so let me know if you want that video i don't mind helping you guys out with that i love talking about concerts like i said it's my cocaine i'm i'm, I'm doing it like I'm sniffing that shit, you know. <sighs> so good, K-pop. <laughs> and that is all in the prep section. And now the ticket buying time has begun. So right before you'll be put in a key, um, Q, Quay, Key, whatever you want to call it. And it usually starts around 10 minutes before the tickets go on sale. Don't be that girl that refreshes the site. Just don't do it. Save the tickets go on sale at 11 o'clock. If you're in there by like 10.55, Stay in the line. Do not refresh, because Ticketmaster will automatically refresh the key for you. All right, so it's ticket time. <laughs> it's ticket time, baby. So you wanna make sure that you have everything that you need beforehand. Like I said, um, have your credit card on you, know how many tickets you want, have your devices set up, only be signed into one, and this is where the magic happens. This is how you know you either pass the test or you failed. <laughs> And it's really scary because you're just like, okay, like, um, are my dreams gonna be a reality or am I never gonna be able to see my Opa like right here? So I got you. So when it comes to ticket time, as soon as you get in to see like the map, a lot of people go to the map and they click on the section that they've been eyeing through, you know, the map that we've been given. So here's what you wanna do. Don't go to the map. When people go to the map, Ticketmaster does this thing where they pretend like tickets are unavailable. So say you're clicking on a ticket and they're like, ooh, someone already got that, you better hurry up. Or ooh, someone already got that one, you better pick another one. And then Ticketmaster will intentionally give you the shittiest ticket because they know that they can do that. This is how Ticketmaster gets people. So this is what you need to do. You need to pick out your quantity as soon as you go in. Say if you want to get a ticket for one person, it automatic, Ticketmaster, when you go in to get tickets, it automatically does it to two, go to one. For me, I always go to one. I pick out the type of ticket I want. For Blackpink, I press VIP, and then I use the sidebar. You never use the map. And you can use the map, but the more people that you have in your party, the more difficult it's gonna be to get good tickets. Use the sidebar, use the map for reference if you're looking at like what section that the ticket is in because a lot of people are visual and Ticketmaster understands that most human beings are visual. This is all psychology for them and I'm like a psychology like whore so I just love these type of things and how you know Ticketmaster manipulates people. So like I said, the most important things is the quantity, the type of ticket that you want. Also that should be a part of the prep, you know, knowing if you want VIP or like P3 or you know, what kind of perks you want. And then just getting in, knowing what you want and get out. Because the more, that, the more time that you stay inside that ticketing section, the more time that Ticketmaster has or other people have to actually snatch your ticket away from you. But princess, we were in a key. I thought it was one at a time. It's not one at a time because if it was one at a time, people would literally be on the computer for seven hours trying to get tickets. This is what Ticketmaster does or this is what I assume they do because they are a business and I run a business also um, and I know about the ticketing process. 
here like number 428 i don't know that's so random 428 blaze it <laughs> so if you're number 428 there is probably a group of people who are number 428 like who are overall buying the tickets on the internet so when your number comes up and you're like ooh, ooh it's not just you who are in who are on the ticket landing page there are a group of you who have the same number or in the same category of like hundreds or thousands so this is a more efficient way for Ticketmaster to do things. And I'll actually give them props here because it's a good idea, but Ticketmaster's still not great. <laughs> I'll give Ticketmaster that. Okay, Ticketmaster, you done did your thing. All right, so the next part is actually buying the ticket. So if you actually listen to the prep, <laughs> you would actually be able to buy your ticket with ease. But here's a few things you might wanna know. So as soon as you buy a ticket, you will, depending on your venue, have an option for a parking pass, especially if it's like an arena. Arena? I was trying to say arena and, I said arena again. <laughs> arena or stadium. A few options, you know, like $40 for a parking. Personally, I would use Spot Hero. Every time I've used Spot Hero, it's been amazing. I use it for every concert I go to. It's very easy to use. I would guess the way to call it would be Uber for Uber for parking out of town. <laughs> I use Spot Hero every time I go to Chicago and it's amazing. Normal people can create accounts and be like, hey, I wanna rent out my parking space because I live in a big city. Depending on your venue, a lot closer to the venue, instead of walking maybe two or three blocks to just to get to your car, you might be able to just park in someone's garage that's like two feet away from the stadium. <laughs> That's a tip. I really would like to maybe collab with Spot Hero because I know a lot of K-pop fans, um, especially here in the Midwest, we live so far away from like Chicago or like Minneapolis or whatever it's called, <laughs> whatever that city is, or like Detroit. And a lot of us are coming in by car or our parents are taking us. So I would love to share you guys share with you guys my referral code. I believe you get a certain amount of dollars off your first or a handful of your parking spots. So I'd love to share that with you because it's been such a help to me personally. This is not sponsored, but I would like to work with them one day. Also, at this point, you can just relax, put in your card info, take your time, don't be shaking, okay? I know you're excited to see your OPA's IRL, just like I was. I saw my OPA's and my undies, but at this point, you already have the ticket. So if you know, if you, you know, check your credit limit on your credit card to make sure that you can actually afford the ticket, or if you have the actual money in your debit card, then woohoo, you are going to a K-pop concert and you are going to cry a lot. <laughs> You're gonna cry a lot and scream just like me. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this was helpful to you to make it kind of like sh as short as I humanly can while also giving you guys as much value as I can. If you guys want more videos on K-pop concerts, I love going to K-pop concerts. And if you guys have any recommendations for ticket videos or if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the description. Also, if you guys are interested, subscribe and turn on the bell to get every single video and or post I make and I will be keeping track of all the comments. If you guys want me to make another video about this, maybe getting to the concert or things about light stick culture and fan chants, let me know. I'd love to answer all your questions because I just love talking to you guys and, you know, making your guys' lives easier through iconic K-pop things. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching and subscribe and um, leave a comment, like, all, do all the crazy stuff that YouTubers want you to do. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, you are loved no matter what. Bye. <laughs>